Oh, my name is Sonic101. I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to mod your guys' Switch and as well as install HDR. Without further ado, let's get into it. First off, you're going to want to click the first link in the description and go to ismyswitch.patched.com. In order to figure out how your Switch is patched, you must look at your serial number below your Switch, and that will be demonstrated by this image below. Now that you see your serial number, you are going to pick your prefix, whatever it is. For this example tutorial, I'm going to pick the first one, and I'm going to type my numbers. If it gives you a message like this, you're all right. But if it gives you a message like this, mm -mm, stop right now and stop watching this tutorial because you cannot progress any further. So now that this is out of the way, atmosphere. You're going to be needing this with the latest version of your Switch. In this video tutorial, it is 16.0.3. So what we're going to be doing is downloading the latest zip and as well as the fuse.bit. Now that we're done with that, we're going to be using Hakate for most of this tutorial. We're going to be scrolling down until you see Hakate's, uh, whatever the name is, latest version .zip. Then when we're done with that, we're going to be downloading the Switch package from HDR themselves, from their HDR development, all links are in the description. So you're going to click on this as well. And finally, you're going to be downloading Tegra RCMG Y Portable. Now that I have all your files downloaded, we are going to be setting your SD card. When you just bought your SD card or use a current SD card, it's most likely on FAT32. But if it's not, I'll demonstrate on how to format it that way. We're going to be right clicking, formatting, switch from XFAT to FAT32, click Start, click OK. Click OK, hit close. Now your SD card is ready for files. Now hold Control, push N, not twice. You're going to be drag and dropping the atmosphere files, these, into the SD card right here. This is your entire SD card. This is what's called the root of the SD card. No files are in here, just plain and simple root of the SD card. You're going to drag these on top of the root of the SD card. You're going to have three files, atmosphere, switch, homebrew.nro. Now, we're going to be installing Hakate. Open Hakate, drag and drop both of these in here. There you go. Bootloader and as well as Hakate are both set in here. Now, we're going to be opening Bootloader, Payloads, drag and dropping this one file right here, and as well as fuse.bin that came with Atmosphere. Now, we're going to go to the root of the SD card. Open Atmosphere. Move, move this folder or this file over to your downloads folder. See how it's named like this? What we're going to do is we're going to open Hakate, move this file in here, rename this to whatever the other file we dragged up into there, which is right here. Reboot underscore. Payload, hit enter. There you go. We'll be, I'll be explaining on why you do this later. Open this, the root of the SD card. Now, we're going to be opening HDR download. Open the switch package.zip. These two files, you're going to extract them to the root of your SD card right in this gray area. I will speed this up on your guys' end so you guys don't have to suffer and wait with me. Now the files of HDR are installed on your SD card. Now we are going to be doing one of two methods on how to access RCM on your Nintendo Switch. A, a normal jig. B, a tinfoil jig. A, a, a actual jig is something you can buy on Amazon. All you type in Amazon um, search bar is Switch RCM jig, J-I-G. That will be linked in the description as well. But if you're cheap like me, we're going to be using a physical piece of tin foil to short two pins, which will also be linked in the description on how to do. I have neither of these in my possession right now, so I will not be demonstrating them, which will have a video description in the link in the description. If your switch is already in RCM mode, then now are you, you're going to plug it into your computer and then do these next following steps. Once your switch is already in RCM, you're going to be opening Tegra RCM GUI Portable and opening the program. Hit Run, go to Settings, Install Driver. Once done, go to Payloads, remove all the favorites here because they're pointless. Hit the folder icon right here. 
Once inside, you are going to be picking Fuse Bin, hit the plus button, pick the folder again, pick Akate. Hit plus. Hit plus. Sorry, I hiccup there. So now that you have Hakate selected, what you're going to want to do is plug in your switch to your computer. I will be doing this right now. It should say RCM OK right here. You're going to eject your SD card from your computer, which I'll be doing now. Now we're going to click Hakate and inject payload. You should see a screen where it says enter date and time for NYX. Now you're going to click OK after the save. Next, you're going to want to go to Tools, USB Tools, SD card. This is how you're going to be accessing your SD card from now on. Since we have everything out of the way already, we don't have to do anything in here. So now we can just hit Eject, UMS, and on your switch, it should say Close. Hit Close, hit Close on top right. Hit the home page, tap the payloads folder, tap fuse.bin. You should see your switch say atmosphere for a few seconds. Then it's going to show the switch logo for a few seconds, and you should be on your front page. Your game should automatically be loaded since you have a physical cartridge or a digital cartridge. And you should see the HDR launcher. From now on, you are done. You are completely done with the tutorial. And if it does give you an option saying, enable these mods in the mods folder, then do that or click yes, or go to the eShop and enable them manually yourself. Inside the applet folder, or known as more commonly, the screenshot folder, you're going to see three files, one called Daybreak, one called Reboot to Payload, and one called USB File Transfer. Each of them I will be describing on what to do with them and how to use them properly. On the top right of the screen, you're going to see a red flash called applet mode, meaning you are using the applet instead of the actual game to run homebrew. Now I'll show you how to do that shortly. Hold R on your Joy-Con or the um, top right bumper on your Pro Controller or R on your GameCube controller and press A. Hold it while the game is booting. You will see the homebrew menu. From there, you can access the USB file transfer. You will see a similar screen um, that says USB file transfer, connect console to computer, press plus to exit. And this is for small uploads only, not anything bigger than three gigabytes or 3,261 megabytes, which pretty much concludes to three gigabytes. So with that said, we can now access our SD card onto our computer. See? And what one weird thing about the file structure is that it doesn't show in details view by default. So you're going to have to set those manually when you enter those files. So details, see so here you go. You got your mods, HDR itself. Details. There you go. So now, now that's shown, all you have to do to exit this is hit plus on your Joy-Con or GameCube controller or Pro Controller. So now, reboot to payload. Remember that thing we did earlier where we deleted a file and renamed it to reboot payload? Well, if you click A on this homebrew app and hit negative, on the top left of the screen, you're gonna the screen's gonna flash and it's gonna say Hakate. Boom, you're in your Hakate menu. You're gonna go to Tools, USB Tools, and SD card. This is for specifically huge files or anything in between. I recommend using this way more than the applet one because the applet one allows only pretty much small files or small skin mods, nothing big like a game dump or anything like that. So that will conclude this tutorial on how to mod your Nintendo Switch and as well as mod HDR inside your Switch. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Go! 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 Go!